let's make an anime where we get seven heroes to gather up and defeat the demon god. Wait, that kind of sounds very generic. Wait, how about this? Let's make it, there's supposed to be six of them, and one of them is a traitor, the Fate. How's that for a twist? Hello everyone, I'm Joe and you, welcome to another edition of UN Anime Review. This episode, Roka no Yusha, also known as Roka, praise for the six flowers. The story of Roka starts off pretty basic, as we get our hero Adelet Maya as he's been chosen as one of the six heroes to participate in a quest to defeat the Demon God. Now initially when you think trying to defeat a Demon God, another generic villain name, you wouldn't expect much of this anime. However, by the end of episode 4 it is revealed 7 heroes have been picked, whereas it's supposed to be 6. So one of the heroes is actually a fake and a traitor, and so begins the mystery thriller on to find who the 7th brave is. The story initially starts off as slow and uninteresting because it's just a generic quest for the first four episodes. After that, the story gets interesting and focuses on the theme of truth and lies. As the plot progresses, we are given more hints on who the synth is. Because of the way it's structured, we don't find out to the very end. So the mystery gets really dragged out until the end. I can't help but the seventh was very obvious. So to me, it felt like waiting for them to reveal my answer. And I was correct. However, the ending, not to spoil anything, felt like a dick move to the viewers, as they tried to introduce a new character, and let's leave it at that. Because there are seven main characters, I'm going to go through this quickly. Our main protagonist is Adelaide Maya, the self-proclaimed strongest man in the world. Well, maybe not the strongest man, but the most cunning. He's the main target of all the heroes to be the fake, as they suspect that it's him. So he is out to prove his innocence while solving the mystery of who the real fake is. Over the course of the series, I wouldn't say he really develops as he pretty much plays the role in everyone's development, but he himself doesn't really develop as much. His job is to keep the story moving forward. The L6 braids are Nashintenya, a princess of Piana and Adler's first friend and ally, Fremi Speedraw, a mysterious sniper, known to kill potential braves, Gold of Aura, one of the knights of the Piana kingdom and childhood friend of Nashintenya. Chamo Rossa, the youngest of the heroes and considered to be the strongest out of all the heroes. Mora Chester, a mature woman known for being the lead of the saints of a temple. And lastly, there is Hans Humpty, an assassin with cat-like features. The characters with the most development is Nashintana and Fremi, as their past is shown more and their feelings are explored on when they are out to kill Adelaide. Only Mora and Chamo feel like they weren't developed at all, because their views don't really change as the story progresses. What I do like about the characters is that they all have a reason for being the seventh, so it does make the story a bit harder, but some of the characters are played out in a very obvious way that shows whether they are fake or non-fake. The art style is pretty standard when comparing to most anime. You won't find anything too unique, but I like how there is a lot of different unique character designs, which is really nice to see. And the show starts off with bright colours, but soon fades the colour palette to fit with the mystery theme. There is one thing obvious with the animation, and it's the overuse of CGI. The CGI really looks out of place in the anime, and some of the monster designs don't feel like they are part of the world. Normally, CGI are used for monsters, however, Rocker also uses it for background and stationary objects, which really is kind of distracting from the characters. The animation is probably at its best when there's a fight scene, and the action scenes in this anime is pretty good. If you can ignore the CGI in it, which looks out of place, the fact that every character has a unique way of fighting, there is quite a diverse animation for the action scenes. The soundtrack is quite forgettable, there is no track in there that is worth listening to on its own. The soundtrack is made up of a string orchestra and they don't really play anything that really adds to the scenes, and is only there to fill in the silence, because there is a lot of talking used to build the finale. The same cannot be said for the opening songs, as they really get you hyped up for the upcoming show, with a sudden change in vocal type and pace in the midway. The endings, although it's nice that they give a classic old touch, they aren't really special, and the animation for it, it's kind of boring to see. The enjoyment factor of this anime really depends on how quickly you're able to solve this mystery. For like, if you're flustered, you will actually enjoy this anime quite a lot. For me personally, I thought it was a bit of a drag to the reveal as I kind of figured it out quite early 
And apparently so did a lot of people. Not to mention that the story doesn't really get that interesting until the end of episode 4. However, I did, say I did enjoy the fights because we got to see a lot of different unique fights because of the unique variety of characters. And I will say there are some enjoyable moments in the build up towards the end. But at the same time, I felt the end really cheated me, even though I was able to solve the mystery. So for the story of Rocker, I give it an 8. The story may start out slow and the end feels like a dick move. However, I really like the change to a mystery on who the fake Brave is as it takes us on a roller coaster ride and giving us subtle hints on who the fake is. For the animation sound, I give it an 8 and a 5. The animation and art style is good and using the bright colours to signify it's an adventure and then the transitions to the more faded colour palette which fitted the mystery. The character designs are unique and reflects on the action as they have an all unique style of fighting so it's nice to see some variety. I just wish they pulled back some of the CGI because they used it a lot. The soundtrack is really forgettable as nothing really is good or special in the soundtrack. However, the opening song is really great and gets you ready for the upcoming episode. For the characters, I give them a 7. I like how they are unique and all have pretty good reason for being the fake, making the mystery harder. I like the development of Nashitanya, Fremi and Hans. The others, not so much. And Aldola adds to a more unique protagonist rather than being strong, he's just smart and likeable. However, I would say his development is very minimal. For my own personal enjoyment, I give it a 6. Because I kind of solved the mystery pretty quick and I felt it was predictable. So to me, it just felt like it dragged towards my answer. The action scenes are fun to watch, but CGI can be distraction. Not to mention that the ending may left me satisfied because I was right, but it also left me quite bitter. So for the overall score of Rocket no Yusha, after rounding up, I give it a 7 out of 10. I recommend this anime to people who are looking for some good action as there is quite a number of unique fights but also those who love mysteries. It might be a bit predictable depending on who you are though. Well that's it for this edition of your anime review. If you want to read the written review, link is down below in the description straight to my anime list. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. If you can't be bothered, go watch another video. With that all said and done, time to kill the demon god. Sayonara!